what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so we gotta talk about what happened on this friday night smackdown man shout out to everyone that was a part of the live stream you guys are always amazing and we appreciate you guys that stop in and, and uh join in on the on the fun when we do these live streams man we be talking about a whole lot of things uh but we got to talk about what happened and uh one of the first noticeable things that happened on this show that's probably going to cause a lot of controversy on social media is the uh believe the fatal four-way the second fatal four-way match to determine who's going to be the number one well who's going to face uh santos escobar to see who's going to be the number one uh contender for the united states uh championship uh match against austin theory at SummerSlam, and a lot of people were expecting la Knight to win in fact even when la Knight came out there he came out there with a microphone everyone else had their normal entrance he came out there with a microphone crowd went crazy for him as you expected crowd was just going insane they were turned up he had a whole bunch of yeah signs he's talking his trash saying he's gonna beat everybody in there gonna become the U new united states champion and everybody's like l a night yeah lit so you automatically thinking man it looks like they're giving this guy a big push this may be the night he gets a, a really good uh, a big win under his belt so they go through the match and it was a pretty solid match or whatnot but ultimately and i didn't see this coming ray mysterio ends up winning after austin theory attacked him through the match or whatnot he was giving them the beats then all of a sudden uh esco santa bar uh, i said esco santo escobar comes out and is helping ray fight off uh austin theory starts fighting him off or whatnot and ray after catching the beats from austin theory ends up getting the pin and winning and I was just like, wow, I'm not even going to lie to you. I just, I was just so confused. And I heard the rumors. The rumors have been saying that they were going to have Santos uh, go against um, uh, Austin Theory at SummerSlam or whatnot. And maybe have Santos be the guy to defeat Austin Theory. And I know LWO is pushing a lot of merch or whatnot. It's big with the fans and stuff. But I was just so confused because I was like, they're going with the mentor mentee storyline. But I was like, damn, like, I don't know. I just I feel like there's a missed opportunity. Now there are also other reports saying they're gonna start pushing them at SummerSlam. But it's like, I don't know. I just think that's a missed opportunity, man. I, I think him, LA Knight versus Austin Theory, I, even though LA Knight is still technically a heel, I just I think it would have worked. I think it would have been a really good match and i think it would have been a real good moment for him to win the united states championship at SummerSlam in front of that massive crowd now we'll see what they do i hope this doesn't kill his momentum i really hope it don't i hope fans don't start saying you know start dying down from this we'll see uh, if they do follow up on the rumors and, and keep pushing them at SummerSlam. i just think he deserves to be on the SummerSlam show that's just my opinion because that crowd's going to go crazy. And he can have a SummerSlam moment. I do believe he deserves to be on the show. Wrestling preferably. Wrestling for a championship. But that was kind of disappointing. Not going to lie to you. Kind of took the took the energy out of me. In my opinion for the show. Oh, well, now the rest of the show was okay. But it, it definitely. Definitely kind of. You know it, it was a disappointing to not see him advance on. So after that happened. Uh, Austin Theory went up to adam pierce he's like he wants to have a match with uh santo uh escobar so they end up having that match wasn't a bad match at all later on in the show and santos escobar pins austin theory clean he pinned the united states champion he's supposed to have a match with ray next week to see to be the number one contender to take the title from him and you had him pin him I was super surprised by that. I was thinking maybe LA Knight was going to interrupt the match or something. No, I I, I did not have Santo Escobar pinning Austin Theory clean. Which leads me to believe, does he actually lose at SummerSlam? I don't know what's going on here. It's really quite confusing. So, But let's talk about the main event. But before we get to the main event, there was a little backstage segment and it plays into the main event where they're in the back. Roman's in the back. There's nobody saying anything. Paul Heyman's looking at Roman. 
but Solo's looking at the lay that Roman's holding. He has it in his hand. He's just looking at it. And Solo's staring at it. He's not looking at Roman. He's staring at the lay. And then Roman looks up at him, staring at the lay. And then Solo's looking back at him. Paul's looking at both of them. And Roman's just kind of giving him the side eye look. Like, what you thinking about? I was like, that, that small little attention to detail, I appreciate that. But it plays into what happens later on in the main event. So main event comes out. Jay comes out first. Roman comes out. They had the little table in the middle of the ring, whatnot. And, you know, Roman doing his thing. And Roman hitting the, you know, acknowledge me. He got a lot of pops there. There was definitely some booze. But the one thing about Roman, he knows he's a heel. And he knows how to turn up the heel heat. And I can appreciate that. So, Roman has this smug look. He has this smug look. He's like, bro, I've been doing this. He, he like, I'm, I'm not new to this. I'm basically true to this. Like, do you really want to do this? Like, he, he hitting him with the little, let me, little J. Do you really want to do this? Like, do you really? Like, come on, bro. Stop the facade. You don't want to do this. And I like Jay's demeanor this entire time while he's doing this. You know, acknowledge me uh, stuff. And when they're in the ring and even when they're sitting down at the table, he's not looking at Roman. He's like kind of standoffish. Like he's just like he's there, but he's like he's not looking at him because it's like it's different. It seems it seems like there's a lot of emotions going on in his head. So it's like he's like he's kind of over it <clears throat> or whatever. And I like that standoffish, but he, it's like he's in deep thought. Because he knows what he has to do. I, I appreciate that. You get It's like he's saying a lot without saying a lot. So, Jay picks up the mic. And like I said, he's not even looking at Roman. But he like when he's talking to him, his body is facing another direction. But he's looking at him in a sense. It's not like directly aimed at him. But he's letting it be known. He's like, look, I got to do this. I don't want to do this. But I got to. You put Jimmy in the hospital. So, I got to get you simple so he signed a contract or whatever he signs it or whatnot and he's basically like bro i've been doing this bro like this is you know what i'm saying like if this is really what you want to do all right cool what i like here and this, this is ain't when things start to turn up jay gets the contract and rips it and throws it on the table and he said this is tribal combat like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is this is our blood. We don't need no contract. This is within our blood. This is tribal combat. Anything goes. And he, it was a great promo. He said, if I want to hit you with a steel chair, I can do that. If I want to, you know what I'm saying, throw you through a table, I want to do that. Like, he just started listing off the things he wants to do to hurt Roman. If I want to crack you over the head with a stick, I'm going to do that. Anything goes. It doesn't matter. This is on blood. And I'm like, oh, I like that crowd going crazy. And then Roman, what I love about him, he he makes those mannerisms. Like, well, he has those mannerisms and those facial expressions of annoyance when the crowd is cheering for someone else. And he was like, man, shut up. Shut that mess up. He was telling the crowd to shut up. Like, and then he was telling Jay to shut up. Like, hey, shut up. When I'm talking, you know what I'm saying? He, he had to assert his dominance. He's like, this is what you want to do? He's like, this is how you feel. This is what you want. All right. All right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he was like, bro, let, let's do it. So he put the, he he took the belt off. He put it on the table, which is insinuating, pretty much saying, I'm going to put the championship online. I'm going to put the undisputed universal WWE championship on the line. He's like, this is what you want to do. All right, fine. Boom. Put it on the table. And Roman was like, nah, 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 nah. Well, not Roman. Jay was like, nah, this is tribal combat like this is tribal combat this ain't just for that and then uh roman's like did the elders approve of this and and jay was like the elders are the ones that suggested this and that's when it, it, it took it up it's not even just for the title that's when he starts to take off the lay and he starts to look at it and then he puts the lay on the title now this ain't just for the title this is to see who's becoming the new who who will be the champion 
the undisputed uh you know uh the undisputed universal champion uh wwe undisputed Unif universal champion and the tribal chief this is for everything winner takes all and what i liked about this is even he got up and it, it was so cool and i wish uh, and i think they're gonna play into more of this this tribal chief bloodline stuff um, cause they kind of brought it back full circle when Jay was one of the first people to fall in line or whatnot. They really was playing this up and that's when they started introducing the lay and stuff like that. Definitely gave this vibe of, oh, this is like that. This is serious. Like this is, this is being granted by the elders or whatnot. The Samoan elders, like this is a go. This is definitely have this tribalism, tribal vibe going on here. Some type of ritual about to happen. And so it was interesting to see them have that handshake. He put his handshake out and they, you know, did like this, you know, heads touch each other. And then that was it. Pause. <laughs> so at that point, you can see J uh, Solo in the back. Solo is looking at Roman like, what the fuck? Like, he, like, he was confused. He was like, wait, he was looking at Roman. Even when he put the lay on there, he was looking at him like, yo, what the fuck? It came off as if. Oh, so I'm not in this mix? Like, what was happening here? You know what I'm saying? He's the ops. Like, what is this? So, Solo flips over the table and tries to Samoan spike Jay. Roman stops him. He's like, yo, what are you doing? And then that's when Jay kicks him straight in the face. Kicks Solo square in the face. Knocked him out the ring. Great moment. Roman looking shocked. And I was looking shocked. And all you guys were looking shocked in the chat because it's like, Roman stopped him. This, this is this is about Roman and 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 Jay. He's like, this is. He's like, nah, you know, we don't, I don't need you to do anything else. This is between us, and I like that because I don't think Solo is gonna be all too happy once again getting kicked in the face and Roman stopping him. I like the fact that slowly but surely, Roman is losing control over Solo. He's, he doesn't have that full control like he once had. He's losing control. And I think we're going to see a combination of that at SummerSlam. But it's official. The match has been official for the Undisputed uh, Universal, uh, um, uh, Undisputed WWE Universal Championship. It's official now. And whoever wins will be deemed the Tribal Chief and the Champion. So I am very looking forward to what's about to happen here. They are just finding new layers to the story to add. Solo is a very big part of this. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. I cannot wait. It's going to be great, man. So comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this SmackDown? How did you guys feel about LA Knight not winning um, the, uh, the Fatal 4-Way? And also, how did you guys feel about this whole Bloodline segment? Because, man, this is Chef's Kiss fantastic. They keep finding ways to add more layers to this where it keeps you it gets you invested and you want to see what's going to happen next week and i am really looking forward to this main event because this is going to be great and hopefully they let them go all out i hope they let them brawl because they have made this feel so personal within their family within their tradition in their family i want them to really go all out for this it's SummerSlam, go big or go home last year's SummerSlam ended on a crazy note so this year's SummerSlam got him in on a crazy note as well but i appreciate all the love and support road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all keeping me see y'all next one peace